Hey everyone, it's Desiree and I am here with Birch Press Design and another design team project. So <clears throat> I am pulling in a couple of dies. So I pulled out the floral, the flora heart and it's three layers. Um, it's a really, really pretty design. Um, again, you could just use this one, add some drops or stickles or gems in the center of that. Um, you can use this one on its own, and then of course you can also use this one on its own. So, a really versatile layering set. And then I'm going to pull in this pinpoint radial plate, um, which I think, I'm just having way too much fun with this. Um... And then I'm going to use this sentiment, the cutoff, you know, the half page sentiment, hello, um, by Birch Press. So as always, I have pre-cut, um, pre-die cut my pieces. So what I've done here, and again, I'm not going to use too many colors. Um, so here is my pinpoint radial plate. I just love the design that that takes. And then I even have this already cut. You'll see why I've got that. Um, and then, of course, I have my three layers. And I am just using two colors, white and a, a dark aqua. So let's get these layered first. Um, okay, that's a lot there. And then I'll show you what we're going to do. I am, as I said, I'm really enjoying this pinpoint radial um, die. Now, this is the full sheet, obviously. Um, there's also a snowflake that is a, available. But again, it doesn't have to be just a snowflake. Um, it could be, again, these work great as background um, pieces. And that is what I'm really, really liking about this, is the different ways that you can create the background. Let me get my tweezers on this one. Let's get those there. And then we'll just put dots of glue. Um, but just, you know, the way that you would position it um, have it set will give you a different look every time. So that's that's something that's really cool. You know, just playing around with it. All right, so let's get this. I'm loving this look of just two separate. Hold on. There we go. Um, just two colors. And I think that looks absolutely awesome and I'm going to set this right in the center of that circle so this is gonna sit here now I do want to trim this down so okay we're gonna shake the table probably and all I'm gonna do is cut an eighth of an inch off of each side this way each side will be even. I want that circle to stay in the center. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take this down to five and a quarter. All right, and I think I'm going to leave that there because I need to just confirm this size. Yes, four and a quarter. Bye bye. Yay! Didn't even have to cut that. Okay. So now I will be able to place this. So let me put this on. Well, that was an awesome sound my background here all 
Make sure that's centered. Oh my goodness. All right, let's try that again. And now we're just gonna, with all of those pinpoints, I do find that the cardstock will curl just a little bit. Just gotta put that pressure down on it and it will go down onto the cardstock and flatten itself out. Okay, let's get those out of my way. Let's layer, I have the Hello in the same color. So again, I'm just using two colors of cardstock. I'm just gonna add some dots to the background here. I'm gonna use my tweezers or help. Let my tweezers help me here. And I'm gonna put that in the center. And I'm gonna put some pressure on that. I don't wanna put, the heaviest thing I got on my table right now actually is my coffee cup, so. Didn't want to put that in front of it. Oh, but I do want to get a sip of my coffee. <laughs> Moved away so I could gulp that down. All right, so that's what we have so far. We can see the radial. And then what we want to do is I am going to take an eighth of an inch. I should have done that before I cut that piece, but that's okay. We can trim it now. Again, just taking off an eighth of each side. Now we could, you know, let that go right up there and have the heart come out. Um, but I am going to take just a little bit off. I think I'm going to take. Yeah, I'm going to take a quarter of an inch off of the bottom. Bring that down that perfect so I'm just going to have the um, solid card stock so I'll have all of that design coming up from the bottom now that I'm in frame and I'm going to put some double-sided foam squares on this because I do want this to be propped up because, again, I have that layered piece going on there. And I know I'm safe in this area. And I'll come in over here. So what I'm keep on doing here, all right, so I can probably also come in down there. And then I think I can just do that last part of the H towards the bottom. So now my point of my heart is gonna come in down there and I'm just gonna put three in the center. So overkill, but that's okay. I know these here are very close um, to the height of what my three layers are. Um, that's why I did not use my um, 
double-sided foam tape. So I heard you all screaming, why don't you just use your double-sided foam tape? I heard you. I heard you. Um, but again, I didn't want it to, to wave. Um, so using the double-sided foam squares just works better. All right, so now I'm going to set this in place. And I'm just going to come straight down. And push that down. Now I have a spot. I'm not sure what that spot is. Let's see if I can erase it. And I can. Yay me. Okay. Perfect. And now what we'll do, we'll layer up the hellos. Again, just using small dots. And I did cut this out three times. Again, just adding more dimension. And then our last one. And then we'll set this right in here. So it's cool that I have that white shadow because then the hello will stand out. And then again, we just have our plain piece. Now you could reverse this as well. You could put the radial down here and have it solid be up here. Um, but I kind of like all of that hiding and being tucked in behind that hello. Here's our standard A2 size um, card base. We'll shift that. I'm going to pull in my shimmer pen and I'm just going to go over the hello. Now by all means we could put our glossy accents over this as well. But I am impatient because whenever I use glossy accents I like it to sit for at least 24 hours. And my room is all over the place. So I know it will get hit <laughs> with something. Um, but very easily could put glossy accents right over that and it would look really really pretty and really stand out but I am going to do um, a little bit to these flowers up here and I think yes I'm going to add some pearls I think pearls would be perfect I'm going to add those to the center I'm going to use this size. And hopefully I grab the right size. Is my head in the way? Oh yeah, I'm sure my head got in the way on that one. Let's put that there. Because you all didn't need to see my grays. Got a lot of grays. Oh, all right. Well, that went flying. We'll put that there. And then I'm 
we'll use these smaller ones. And that is our card. Let me clean these up because you know I'll wear them. Or I'll make them go flying across the room because that's what I do. Yes, I use the bee trays to pick them up. You guys should know now I, I do things backwards, right? I'm just saying. All right. And that is our card. So two colors. I think it has a great impact. I'm loving this pinpoint die. Uh, the more and more I use it, the more and more we get creative with it. And just adding some pearls, just a few pearls, gives it just that special accent. So... I hope you enjoyed this. Again, we used the pinpoint radial plate and it's a full plate. And then we used the Flora Heart uh, three layer um, die set. As always, the products will be listed down below. I encourage you to check out the Birch Press Design site as well. I believe they are having a sale um, also. So I'll link to that um, also. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below. Smile, laugh, it helps. Continue to enjoy your holidays. We're getting ready to bring in 2021. It will be an even better year. Um, but 2020 was okay as well. We have got through 2020, so let's look at it that way. But remember what's most important for me and will help us continue through this journey. Always be creative, guys. Till next time, and take care.